Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Triple Wrap Odd Count Peyote Bracelets, an exclusive Beta Halik jewelry kit. So here is one example that I have on my wrist here. So this is that little tiny triple wrap. So we have five rows wide there, or excuse me, five columns rather wide, and we're using a little magnetic clasp there, and we have all kinds of different fun patterns that sort of overlap, and we're using five different colors here today. So this is going to be really fun. So this is one example of a color. We also do have this beautiful blues and then we have the purples as well. So we have three different versions there for you. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what you're going to get in your kit. So you can see we have our five colors. Let me go ahead and set that down there. We have our five colors that you're going to receive. You're going to receive your little magnetic clasp and then you're going to get a needle and you're going to get a spool of thread. Now today I'm going to be using the black fire line just so that you can see it here on camera but yours will be a crystal color to coordinate with your beads. Okay so let's talk for a second a little bit about sizing and the pattern that you're going to receive. So I have over here this is the colorful pattern that you'll get and it's nice and easy to read. Now what I want to say here is that you'll notice that we have, let me see if I can get all on camera, there we go, we have A through G, but you'll notice that G is a little shorter, and this is where that sizing comes in. So if you follow this pattern top to bottom, you'll start at the top of A and just kind of keep working your way down as you go through all these patterns. This will give you about 21, a little over 21 inches. Now the triple wrapped, uh, when it goes around your wrist, is a little over seven inches because we have to leave a little bit of room for that clasp. Now, now, with that said, what you can do is you can either shorten pieces here or you can lengthen pieces. So what I mean by that is let's take a look at A. So you can see A, we have like that blue, pink, white, orange, and then it goes back to the silver, blue, pink, white, orange, and then it goes back to the silver. Now, this is an opportunity to shorten that if you wanted to, especially here at the very beginning. So what you could do is you could actually shorten and just kind of leave off a blue, pink, white, and orange and go right into finishing the silver because the silver starts that next pattern. So in between each pattern, there is a unique little transition and that's just to kind of get from one to the next. If you wanted to, let's say, extend a piece of the pattern, what I would recommend is you can take a piece like this because you can see that it continues up here in C and you can just continue this pattern for a little bit longer just to add a few extra rows if you think you're gonna want a little bit more there to add on to here. Now, you're also welcome to do this in pieces and zip the pieces together. It is entirely up to you, but I just wanted to give you some options there when it comes to sizing. All right, so I have this pattern here, so you'll be able to follow that. And let's go ahead now and the, oh, I did want to mention the only other tool that you're going to need is just a pair of scissors or snips just to help us with that thread. So that's the only thing that you'll need to provide. Okay, so if you have everything ready to go, let's go ahead and get started on learning that odd count peyote. Okay, so now we are all set to start weaving our pattern, and our pattern is going to go with the silver beads first. Now let me just bring that into frame one more time so I can show you how to read this pattern here. So what we're going to do on A is we're going to pick up the first two rows, which means we're going to pick up that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So those are the first two rows right there. And when we go to turn it around and get our third row, we're gonna turn it around and this is our third row. That one, that one, and that one. So we're all working with the silver beads for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and I get that one that flew away, five. So I can just hold those five in my fingers there and I'm gonna come down towards the end of the thread. I'm gonna leave about a foot because we're gonna want that to attach our clasp later. So we have our silver beads. So now I'm gonna pick up one silver bead and I'm gonna turn it around and I'm not gonna go through that first bead. I'm gonna go through that second bead right there. And this is gonna create a little tiny triangle at the end. So let me just sort of show you there. So we get our little three happening at the very end, just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick up another silver. 
I'm going to skip over another silver and then go into the next one here. And this is going to start to create that little kind of zipper look. All right. So we have that just like so. Now I have one hanging there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one more silver bead. And now I'm going to actually go down and come up through that little bead that was sort of hanging there. And what I want to do is get him to sit on top just like so. But now my thread's kind of in a strange place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this middle bead right here, right there. And I'm going to go up through a bead in that top row there. And then I'm going to come down through and turn my thread around. And you'll be able to see this a little bit easier once I get a few more beads on here. So if you can't see this, don't worry. It will become clear. And then you're going to go down through those last two beads on the end. And the last step of that turnaround is to get your needle going the right way here. And we're going to go back up through this bead here. So now referring to my pattern, I'm ready to add that next row and that is two silver beads. So we're just going to go through that one, right, like, it, like that, and through this one, just like that. All right, now we're ready to add our next row of beads. And on my pattern here, it's going to be those turquoise beads. So now we're just weaving back and forth. So on one side, it looks like even count peyote. And then on the other side, it looks like odd count peyote. All right, so now we're back to a silver bead in the middle. All right, and now again, you can see that we are at that little spot where we kind of have that little gap there. So we're going to take our thread, turn it around and go down through. And now you can come up through all three of those beads there. And this, you can kind of just push with your finger and get him to sit right where you need him to be. And then you're gonna go down through the bead that's underneath the one that your thread is coming out. Go down and through. And then we finish off the, that little five right there. And again, we're just going to go back up through there. All right, so I'm going to do a couple more here and get it to a place where it's a little bit easier for you to see. You can also follow along with the odd count turnaround uh, paperwork that we have with your kit here. We want to give you guys all different ways to learn. So, you know, we know that some people learn uh, from reading and then some people are visual learners. So we just want to make sure that we can accommodate that. All right, I'm going to do this one a little bit faster here. So just kind of knock that up there, there we go. And if you can go through multiple beads at a time, do so. If you, you're finding that your work is really tight and you can't do that, that's okay. Uh, just take your time and make sure, you know, you're not creating unnecessary thread bridges. That's what this is all about. All right, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna do one more here. All right, now we're gonna move on to the pink ones. So hopefully this will be a nice way for you to see it now that I realize that you know, there's silver beads and silver needle and I wanna make sure this, that you guys understand this. Okay, come in. There we go. All right, so we're at that turnaround one more time. Here is that pink bead that we're gonna be adding. Let me make sure you guys can see this here. Okay, so we're gonna go down through and we're gonna go up through all three of those seed beads there. And we're gonna make sure that sits up there and falls into place. And then turn it around and we're gonna go through that bead that's right there on the bottom. So really when you're doing the turnaround, and this is no matter how wide your piece is, you're only ever working with these last five beads. All right, and then we're gonna come and we're gonna go down through those last two beads there. You can see it's sort of crossing over. 
and going underneath and then go back up and through and now we're ready to start our next row. Okay, so that is how we are going to start our piece here. I'm gonna do a little bit more weaving and then I'm going to be back to show you how to finish off the clasp. So one thing I wanna take a moment to show you really quick is how to tie off and add new thread because as you weave, you'll obviously need to be using multiple passes of threads um, to achieve the length here. So don't try to use it all in one. All right, so what we're gonna do is, let's say I'm coming out of this bead and let's pretend that my next bead is a pink bead just so that you can see it a little bit easier. This is not the pattern. Please note, this is not the pattern, this ending here. Uh, this is just for demonstration. So I'm coming out, so I've added one more bead there. Now, in order to tie off that thread, I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go underneath and sort of catch that little thread bridge that is between those two silver beads. And that's gonna create a little bit of a loop there that I'm gonna bring my needle back through and I'm just gonna tie that off so I have a little knot there. So now I'm just gonna follow along with the beads. I'm just gonna go through one, and then I'm just gonna turn my thread around and go through one, maybe two. There we go. All right, so I have that is considered to be tied off, so I'm gonna re remove my needle, come in with my little scissors, and you want to get as close as you can right up there and snip. There we go. And now I'm ready to add on that new thread. Now, keep in mind where you are. That's why I had that little that little pink, pink bead there. So now I'm going to take a moment and thread a needle with some more thread. Okay, so now I have my needle with a new length of thread. And what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna go backwards kind of through a couple of beads. So you can see that the one just below that pink bead is the ideal choice. So I'm gonna go down through that bead, kind of coming out this way, pull my thread all the way through, and you can leave a tail only of about a couple inches there. You don't really even need to use that much because this is all gonna get cut off. So now I can come up through that pink bead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that same little knot technique, but I'm gonna do it twice because I really wanna secure this new piece of thread. So I'm gonna go down through between that pink and that silver bead there, create a little loop, pull tight, and now I'm gonna go over one more. I'm gonna pick up, let's pick up another pink bead just so we can see. Pick up another pink bead and now let's turn it around and I'll go with orange this time just so you can see the, the pattern there. And now, now that I'm going through that last pink bead that I just added, I'm gonna come down through again and make a little knot. Now the reason I like to do two is just to secure this nice new piece of thread that I have there because the old one was secured by all those turnarounds. Because let's assume we continue with our orange beads here and we're gonna do our little turnaround. Going down through our little bead. And now we are ready to rock and roll. So now we've been able to do that turnaround. So my thread is officially not going anywhere. Now you can leave this little tail there until you're done weaving and then go back and trim off all of them. I'm gonna trim mine now, just like so. All right, so that's how you tie off and add new thread as you are weaving. So that's an important part that I wanted to uh, just showcase for you there. All right, if you're ready to do the clasp, let's get to it. Okay, so we have your magnetic clasp here and it has these two little loops on the side, which is perfect. So you can either leave it together or you can separate it at this point. It is entirely up to you. But what I do wanna show you is that we've ended the pattern and let me bring it in frame here for you. We've ended the pattern with three up beads like that. 
So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually add two more beads. And the reason I left it open-ended on the pattern is that I wanted you to know that you could adjust it for a size. But let's say you have decided that this is the size, you've wrapped it around your wrist and you're happy. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually, I'm going to use blue beads so I can talk, talk you through this. But I would recommend using two silver beads to get that nice sleek finish. Let me kind of show you on one of the examples here. So you can see that I've used all silver beads to do this ending technique that I'm about to teach you. But we're going to use blue because I want you guys to be able to see it. Okay, so we're going to go through and we're going to do two beads. I'm going to pick one up and pick one up. Now, this is normally where you would turn your thread around and add on the third row of beads. But instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that thread we're going to go down through that silver bead that's right there. So down through the bead that's just below that last one in the row. And we're going to weave our way all the way back over. So now I'm going through that pink bead. And I'm going to go down through that silver bead. So you're just zigzagging across. Remember the name of the game is to not create extra thread bridges. And I'm going to kind of see if I can catch two here. So I'm going to go through that pink bead and that silver bead. Because what I want to do is I want to get my thread so that it is coming out of that top blue bead, just like that, okay? So if your thread and your ending piece looks like this and you're coming out that top piece, this is where we want to be. All right, now go ahead and pick up one of those blue beads and go ahead and slide that all the way down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our clasp and I'm going to go ahead and separate mine. There we go, set one to the side. Go ahead and go through that loop of that clasp. Let that fall all the way down. And now we're gonna pick up another blue bead and we're gonna go into the blue bead and I'm gonna do this in one step. I'm gonna go into the blue bead and coming right out of that orange bead there. So what in essence we're doing is we're creating this little triangle here up at the top for these to sit in. So if I kind of pull that back, can you see what's happening there? So that's what we want to achieve. We want those two beads. Now, yours, you can probably press it in a little bit to make sure that that kind of sits in that little hole there. So you can sort of move around that little, uh, the loop on the clasp. But now let's secure that. And what we're gonna do is we are going to go and we're gonna just repeat that whole thing that I just did. So we're gonna go down through a bead and we're gonna zigzag our way all the way across the bead weaving. Going through this one. And again, if you can catch both, catch both. Now I can feel that this is getting really tight in here, which is what we want because this is the clasp and we don't want to lose our work. But just take your time because you might only be able to get through one bead at a time. All right, so now I'm going to go through the bead, through the loop. And that's as far as I can get there. And <laughs> lovely magnetic clasp. We're going to go down through and all the way. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to go down through that silver bead one more time, down through the silver bead underneath it. So instead of going through that pink bead, that's where I'm headed. And now I'm just going to go back through and I'm going to come up through those two silver beads on the end. And now we can use one of those little side thread bridges to go just underneath. My needle is just underneath that thread bridge pulling it tight, creating a little loop, going through the loop, tying it off. And now I'm just going to go through a couple more adjacent beads, just like so. And I think that should do it. So now I'm ready to cut that off. Now, the opposite side of this clasp is a little bit different, so I'm going to show you that as well. So stick with me. Let me just re-thread my needle onto my tail. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just so you know, I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to flip it over just like that. So I want you to know where you are where you are with the pattern. Um, I'm right-handed, so it's just the way I like to work. So otherwise, I would get confused trying to do it the other way. I'm so sorry. All right. 
Now I have my needle all threaded and ready to go. And the difference on this side is you'll see that we're coming out of that bead as opposed to going in towards the center of the bead weaving. Our other thread had it kind of coming in. So you have two options here. You can turn it around and go through the opposite way or you can just go through that last bead there and just leave it as is. And I'm gonna pick up some orange beads this time. So remember we have to add those two onto the end. And I recommend you use the silver beads, it's just a nice look. So that's all you need to do is just, just kind of turn that thread around so I don't want you to get stuck there. So now we go back through and we go through this whole thing again. So back through and again, you're just kind of weaving up and down and across. Remember to go down. There we go. And then here's where you can, again, secure those last two beads. So if that feels wobbly doing that turnaround there, uh, you can also, like I said, you can weave to the other side and kind of do it as a third pass. It's entirely up to you. All right, so I'm gonna pick up pink beads this time. I'm gonna pick up a pink bead. I'm gonna pick up my clasp. And again, you can do this with any, any colors you want. Feel free to mix up the pattern. This is entirely up to you. Picking up that second pink bead and making sure he sits right in the center there. Give it a little tug, perfect. And now I'm just gonna turn that around. You can see that it is getting tighter in there. You can just see the resistance, but that is okay. This is where we want things to be a little, little more snug and fit. All right, so it looks like I'm only gonna get up through, oh, yep, I got up through all three. <laughs> and going across through that clasp, down through those three, and again, that's just that same technique of tying off. I'll show you one more time. But this is a really fun pattern. You can really change it up and make it your own. You're gonna get plenty of beads to play with, so feel like you can really um, enjoy the process of making this kit. We do have other peyote kits at beadaholic.com, so if you're interested in this technique, or if you're looking at this thinking it might be a little bit too advanced for you at this time, we do have um, some other projects. We do have a lot more video tutorials, and we do have some even count peyote, which is going to be a little bit uh, simpler. So we wanna make sure that we have something for you at every level. So when you're ready, come on back to this and you can do this advanced technique. All right, so that is it. I feel confident with that, my, my very tiny little bracelet there. <laughs> but uh, this is a, a really fun thing. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and oh, last thing I'll do is let me just trim off. My <laughs> See, I thought it was just gonna be so easy for me just to trim off my little tail there. There we go, all right. So now we have our finished piece. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will see you back here very soon. This is Bita Halik. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below to get all the latest from BitaHalik.com.